So we just have a very brief presentation this evening. When you got the invitation, you saw that the title of tonight's event is Form and Function, the Beauty of Sub-Saharan Sculpture. And so probably the first thing that you notice when you walk through the door is that um, African art is about more than just masks. So traditionally when people think African art, they think masks. But what you've seen so far are You've seen the masks, you've seen the statues and figures in metal and wood, you've seen plaques, you've seen jewelry, you've seen, you've seen dolls. But again, as I mentioned earlier, the thing that they all have in common is that they all have a, a practical function in addition to their decorative qualities. So today, today we're going to talk about three categories of uh, the sculpture that you've seen this evening. We've got maternity figures, reliquary objects, and metal objects. So let's talk first about uh, maternity figures. Okay, a little audience Q&A. So if I ask you to tell me what image pops into your mind, the first image that pops into your mind when I ask you to think of a mother and child depiction, what comes to mind? All throughout European culture, Western culture, we see the image of the Madonna and child. We see, uh, we see something similar in African culture as well. So you see the depiction of the Madonna and child, which, has, um, which is also beautiful, but it also has religious significance. In uh, a lot of African traditions, and in a lot of the art that you see depicted here in the, in the mother and child sculptures, a lot of these have been um, commissioned and tend to represent a mother and child who may have passed. This one is uh, by the Ashanti or Asante people that are in Ghana and the Ivory Coast. We have work from the Bauli people who are also on the Ivory Coast. And then the Luba of Central Africa. Reliquary. So when we talk about reliquary, we talk about a container or shrine in which sacred relics are kept. And this is a word that um, typically is used a lot in the high church when they talk about you know, these ob uh, sacred objects. Um, in African tradition, we also have reliquary where the statue itself literally becomes the shrine that embodies a sacred ancestor, for example. And this is an important part of ancestor worship, or the, I guess the proper term of this is veneration of the dead. And this is the belief that um, your ancestors have a continued existence and you can summon them to, you know, through prayer to assist you whenever you need guidance or advice. And then some examples here from the Fang people of the Cameroon and Equatorial Guinea and the Mbiti. So then the third category of, uh, of sculpture that we wanted to discuss this evening were metal objects. So it may be designed as jewelry or designed as sculpture, but its actual purpose is to be transported and traded. And oftentimes it may take the form of jewelry because jewelry can be worn and therefore you know, easier to transport so that you can trade. So we have some examples here. This one uh, from the, uh, these from the Mamouye, Kabye, and this one here of unknown origin, which is actually one of my personal favorites. 